Hey everyone, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. In today's video, we're going to be doing a bank night presentation. If you've never heard of a bank night, this is certainly a video to watch because it'll introduce you to the concept and show you just a really great routine for one. And if you have heard of a bank night, you might still enjoy this. So stay tuned for that. And if this is your first time on the channel, thank you so much for coming to check me out. If you're coming back, Hey, I really appreciate your viewership. I love that you're coming back and seeing these videos every week. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, hit that bell icon, hit that little subscribe button there so you get these videos every single Thursday at noon. You don't miss a single one. And uh, if you're interested about any of the materials that are in this video, I'll have links for all that stuff in the description below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Bank Night presentation. Okay, so the Bank Night I'm going to show you actually comes from an old book called 50 Tricks You Can Do With a Thumb Tip. I've changed it and modernized it a little bit, added my own little touches as you should always try to do and strive for in your own magic to make it really yours. So uh, let's show this to you. Uh, you have three envelopes or as many envelopes as you want. You want to stick with maybe between three and five. I'm just using three for this. But you have the audience pick out any one they want. In fact, I'm going to shuffle these. They're not marked in any way. I don't know which one is which. And if you were here, I would have you choose these. Unfortunately, with the constraints of uh, video, there's no way for you to actually pick one of these in real life. But let's just say you choose this one, okay? You hold on to it, and I'm just going to leave it here under my arms so you know where it went. Okay, and then, or preferably, you'd hand this to another spectator and you ask them to choose one as well. Let's say they choose that one. Great. Now, you're gonna have yours over here and they're gonna open theirs up and they're going to find that inside is a, well, in this case, a fun money dollar bill. And yes, that is Chris Angel on the front. And if you looked inside the other one, it would have the same thing. Uh, in mine, though, You'll see that we have a $100 bill, <laughs> or as close as we can get. Had to get my face on camera somehow. Let's show you how to do it. Okay, so this is actually a really simple one. Uh, I, you know, presenting it through the video without any other help or anything is kind of weird, but I think you guys get the basic idea. You have as many envelopes as you want. They can be shuffled, mixed, whatever. Uh, your spectators choose whichever ones they want. They can even change their mind as many times as they want. When they open it up, they'll always get a $1 bill. Uh, and then whenever you have yours left over, you'll open it up and you'll have a $100 bill in it or whatever more valuable thing. Uh, a lot of thoughts on this, and so I want to go through this and condense it as much as possible. Basically, I just use play money for fun. I use Chris Angel on the $1 bills, <laughs> my face on the $100 bill, because reasons. Um, if you want, uh, also, if you want these templates, you can get these. I'll leave those in the link down below. They're free. I just got these from a website called printableplaymoney.net. I'll leave links for them. A little Photoshop magic later, and you have whatever you want in the that in that space. Uh, so you need a thumb tip for this, okay? Thumb tip is good. Uh, mine has seen better days. It is dying, but uh, I'll get another one soon. Basically, the idea is you're just going to fold this up over, or we'll call that hamburger, hot dog, hamburger, hot dog until it's folded into sixteenths and then that just goes into your thumb tip. Doesn't matter which way for this because you're just going to uh, pull it out of that later. Now you have your envelopes and they're all sealed. I have one dollar bills folded the exact same way in here. They'll open them up find there's a one dollar bill inside. Okay, they don't know what's happening yet so they don't know whether to be excited or not. But then you tear yours open. This is a new one. And of course, there's a $1 bill in mine too, because I don't know, I can't guarantee that this one is not going to be selected. So, uh, I reach inside, and that's just with my thumb, my, with the $100 bill inside, and it just reaches inside the hole like I was reaching my thumb in there to grab out the $1 bill, and then I just pull the $100 bill out of the envelope and leave the thumb tip. And then I just crumple this up and put it in my pocket. It's garbage now. Nobody cares about it. It doesn't need to be seen anymore. You're completely clean. Now you can uh, do your giant reveal where you show, hey, look, you guys could have picked any ones you wanted, but uh, for some reason, you guys left me with the $100 bill. I don't know what happened. Now, let me talk about some of the uh, things that maybe you're not thinking about or things that'll come up in a presentation. So it does not matter which one they pick. Uh, no matter which one they choose, they always have uh, a $1 bill inside. Or, alternatively, something you might want to do, and this is actually comes from an idea I heard originally from Richard Osterlind, who does a bank night presentation on stage, and what he does is he has a folded up uh, lotto ticket in each of the losing ones, in all, all the ones that don't have $100 bills. And the reason he does that is because he wants people to still have uh, fun with it and still maybe even win something, so nobody feels like a sucker 
or feels down necessarily or feels put out by the magician being a know-it-all, which can sometimes happen. So um, having something like that or something still of value, some kind of consolation prize, a lotto ticket's phenomenal idea. I really like that. It also lets people feel like there's something inside the envelope. The way that it's originally taught in the uh, book that I have uh, shows it as um, having all of them empty except for yours, which has a $20 bill. But people are going to feel around and realize there's nothing inside that envelope, but why does yours have something in it? Maybe you were feeling which one had the money in it and then purposely deceiving people and handing out one that uh, that they didn't feel the money in. So I think it's much better to have each one of them full with something. Really, really fun effect. This is something that you can do close up or uh, I would prefer, and honestly, I would suggest that you try to do it uh, in a parlor situation where you're standing up and performing for, for quite a few people all at once. That way you can get multiple people involved and uh, it, you know you can make it a big production. If you need any of the materials that are in this video, you need thumb tip, or the the um, envelopes, which are just number one coin envelopes I got from Staples. But if you need any of that stuff or links to those play money, uh, if you want to do it that way, there will be links for all of that in the description. So um, all those will also be affiliate links. I'll just be kind of fully transparent here. Anything that you see, it'll be marked as affiliate links. You don't have to buy it from me um, or for, through my affiliate link, but if you do, it certainly helps out this channel. I made 27 cents the other day. And I can't tell you that made a huge deal for me. I was I was dancing around the house for for like a week after I found that out. Um, super cool. Uh, makes me feel really good, and it certainly helps to propel this channel into the future. If you're coming back, thank you so much. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming to check me out. I do videos like this every single Thursday at noon Central Time. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That way you're notified of these videos all the time. And look over here for something else that uh, YouTube thinks you'll like. So thank you guys very much. I will see you guys next week. Cheers.